The careers of the five men weren't the only things rocked by this scandal. The entire school district is still recovering and changes are being made even today. Last night, the Hamilton County School Board passed an expanded policy for educators who witness themselves or find out about child abuse. News Channel 9's Kelsey Bagwell explained how it's different from the previous policy. Kelsey. Latricia Calvin as several adults at the center of the Udawal rape case now face consequences. We dissect Hamilton County's new policy on reporting child abuse. District leaders say the rules haven't changed, but who they apply to has. From one page to three pages, the Hamilton County School Board's policy on reporting child abuse expanded, and it needed to be, according to board member Rhonda Thurman. We wanted to tie up any loose ends that were out there so that there's no, there's no question about what needs to be done to report child abuse. The new policy lists more specific rules for reporting child abuse, including the exact agencies that should be contacted. It says all school system employees must notify the Department of Children's Services by phone, in person, or online. Call police where the child lives or the juvenile judge in Hamilton County. School board members believe the new policy reinforces all employees are responsible for reporting, no matter their rank. Coaches, assistant coaches, uh, bus drivers, uh, substitute teachers, cafeteria workers, we're getting everybody involved in this. Let them know the rules and what needs to be done. Another new change, the reporter must keep a written record of who they called and when, and principals are responsible for circulating the new rules, posting them in schools, and making sure employees are trained. In Tennessee, every adult is a mandatory reporter, which means they must speak up if they suspect child abuse. Partnership for Families, Children, and Adults says the rules surrounding that must be clear. The more detailed we can have in a policy that's protecting the most vulnerable people among us, the better. Advocates say the clearer the rules, the safer students will be. The more specifically we can help our mandatory reporters understand how to be a mandatory reporter is vital. Um, when can we not be too thorough? The expanded policy went into effect as soon as it was approved last night. Rhonda Thurman tells us many schools have already started training their additional staff and volunteers on mandatory reporting rules. Calvin. Thanks, Kelsey. Last night, the district also outlined changes to the policy for overnight athletic and band trips. The district says there will be at least one chaperone to every 15 students, and there will now be background checks for all chaperones.